everybody. How are you? This is Nancy, the Disorderly Stitcher. It is Tuesday, May 28th. Um, I hope the lighting's good. I'm doing this in the late afternoon. Um, so I hope everything works. And I'm also trying this on my phone. Uh, I wanted a little bit different location. Um, so yeah. Why not? So if you are new here, thank you for stopping by. Uh, I greatly appreciate you taking some time out of your day to come visit. If you are returning, it's so good to have you back. And uh, thank you to all of you who have reached out either in comments or emails or Instagram, um, Facebook, asking how I am doing. Um, I'm doing good. This is my chair. And this is where I spend a lot of my time. Um, for those of you who are not aware, I had a total knee replacement on my right knee on May 1st. Um, it went well. It, it, it went very well. And, uh, you know, the first night it's like, yeah, let's take a walk. I'm going down the hall. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. And then the next morning I was like, cut it off. Because by the morning, the spinal block had worn off. So yeah. Um, but you just take it one day at a time. You know, you take the little things like being able to do a load of laundry by yourself, being able to lift your leg up on the ottoman, being able to climb in the tub, you know, um, standing in the shower instead of using the tub chair, you know, things like that. Uh, it's amazing what we take for granted until we don't have it. So physical therapy is going very well. In fact, they, I guess they are quite pleased with where I am now. I can bend my knee back um, between 90 and 100 degrees. And um, we're working on getting it to lay flat. Some days are better than others. So, yeah. Um, I'm hoping to get into school on Friday morning which is the last day of school. I'd like to see as many of the kids as are there on Friday. I'm sure there's some of them that are not going to bother to show up, but such is life. And apparently they're going to have some kind of luncheon at the end of the day um, or around, I don't know, midday for lunch and, you know, um, honor the retirees. So there's two of us in the building that are retiring. So I have to go in anyway and take posters down and do all that stuff and make sure that I have taken everything out of that building that I want out of the building. Um, my official retirement date isn't until July 1st. So if I still need to go back in, I can. Uh, so I don't know if I'm going to turn in my keys on Friday or not. Things, other things are well, the family's well. Um, Weather's been good. I hope that all of you that have been dealing with these wicked, wicked storms and tornadoes are safe and healthy. I, I just, I can't believe it. You know, we were supposed to get one yesterday that was supposed to have hail and, you know, the whole nine yards and then it just <clears throat> died. In fact, they um, canceled the Memorial Day parade in town because they thought we were supposed to get this storm and hail and nothing. Absolutely nothing. Um, we had one short downpour that lasted maybe three minutes and that was it. So, um, what's been, what have I been stitching? I didn't have my stitching mojo for about a week. Um, all I wanted to do was sleep uh, which is normal after surgery. Um, and they have me on oxycodone and that stuff I swear knocks me out. I'm not sleeping in bed yet because I can't get the right position for my knee and for my hip. So this has been my bed as well. Probably not the best choice because I'm sitting up, but at least I'm getting some sleep. So I started stitching more a couple weeks ago, um, trying to get some things done, trying to complete my goals for my uh, Boss Me, Heifer, and Whip Go boards. 
and I'm happy to say that I was able to do that in May. So if you are unfamiliar with WIPGO, that's what started it all. It, if you go to watch um, Jesse Marie Does Stuff, uh, there's a video that explains WIPGO. And basically what it is, is a bingo board. All right. So you pick 5, 10, 15, 24 whips and you make your board and you decide, you know, what do you want to do to fulfill your goal for that particular whip? Then when the number's called, you take care of that one. Um, last year, I think I was, a, I was a little over ambitious because I wanted to do five days for each one and I got frustrated by the end of the year and I quit. Um, this year, I'm, as I've said before, I made some of them a little more generic. So like you can see there's bird, um, Christmas, 40 count project, um, something that's red. You know, anything where I use red or a red project, red sampler, something like that. So that's from Jesse Marie. Then the um, Floss Boss and Cousins, Callie and um, Christy, came up with uh, a heifer board. One of their favorite sayings is, don't be a heifer. All right. So there you go. Same idea. And then um, the boss stitchers, Jane and Chris, and um, Two Needles Pulling Thread, Kathy and Missy, came up with Boss Me, which is Boston and Maine. So I thought, you know what the heck, I'll just put all three together. My goal is to at least work with each one three times. Um, that could be three times in one day. If I stitch in the morning and then I quit and I go do something and then I come back and I work on it and then I quit and I go back. That could be three times. Um, it's my interpretation, my board, my rules. Also, I'm looking at it that if things are pulled and one of my whips qualifies, then I can knock out two things at one time. So to give you an idea of what I mean, all right, so here on my boss me board, my June pulls are words and Christmas. So if I have a Christmas whip that has words on it, touching, I can do that. All right. So my, my, um, boss me pulls for May were a 40 count project and a sampler, which I accomplished and I'll show you those in a minute. My May whip go pulls were to work on a state, one of the state projects that I have and also the free space in the middle. So whatever. And, um, hands across the sea. And then my heifer board, my may, what happened in, in that one is I think it was this one. Um, I misread the numbers for March and somehow they got mixed up. So anyway, long story short, um, my may pulls for heifer board were to gift a friend, um, and something blue. All right. So I accomplished all that. All right. My June heifer pulls are uh, something with a bird on it and see, I can't even find them anymore. Something with a bird on it and gift a friend. All right. My whip go pulls for June are bird and something with orange in it. And my boss me pulls for June, as I said, are words in Christmas. So I've got this one planned out. So my May calendar looks like that. I haven't quite filled it out for this week yet. Of course, we're not that far into this week. Okay, you'll have to excuse me. This using my phone, it's so tiny and it looks weird. All right. Um, so before we get into whips, I wanted to take a minute 
and uh, let you know what I've been watching. I believe strongly in shouting out other floss tubers so that we can give each other um, a boost. I do have a couple of new or new to me floss tubers that I have found while I'm recovering. Uh, Apple Harvest Stitching and Beck Stitches Everything. I'll list all these hopefully down below. Depends on how I do this with my phone. Like I said, this is the first time. And then I found one today called Comfort Stitching. Um, her name is Jackie. Uh, she's only been stitching, I don't think, for maybe a couple years. But she did Consider the Lilies as one of her first projects. And if you know Consider the Lilies, it's huge. And she made it all her own. She put motifs in there like she's from the Midwest and now she lives in Kansas and she put two buffalo in there, two bison. It's incredible. Incredible. Um, so yeah, if you have a minute, go check them out. Give them a like. Boost up their subscription level. Um, I've been watching Celeste Creates. And uh, she's always one of my favorite. Um, Shine Sparkle Stitch, the Bougie Stitchers, um, Stitchy Fix, that was a new one to me. Stitching by the Shore, Laura, she's always good for some incredible inspiration. Amy Loves Toads, she's got some great things going on. Of course, Brenda and Laura, um, they were a little early this past one because, you know, Sunday was Indy 500. I don't even know who won. I hope Laura was happy. Um, contented Needlework Kim. I just, you know, sometimes I don't pay attention to what she's saying. I just check out all the beautiful stitching behind her on the wall. Carol Saltbox, of course, Saltbox Stitcher. Um, another one that was new to me was April Heirlooms. Another one that was new to me was Brianna Lentz. Um, I watched the Boss Stitchers and Bluebird Paper and Thread. So, yes, needless to say, I've been doing a lot of floss tubing. So I, like I said, I will do my best to list those down below. Okay. We're going to see if this works. All right. So what have I been up to? Well, as I said, one of my, a couple of my pulls are words and birds or words and Christmas or something like that. So I pulled out Maker and Mender by Brenda Gervais. This was a... Sal that a bunch of us started when we got together in one of the rooms at the Jingle Ball in 2022. Of course, a lot of people have finished it already and I have not because, you know, I just squirrel a lot. So you see we have the words. We have a bird here. We have a couple birds down there. I could, you know, blue, if I pull blue, flower, whatever I pull, technically I could hit a couple of things with this chart. So I am using the called for colors on uh, looking at my project card that I made using Barb's Blend, 36 count Barb's Blend by R&R. &R. And I'm using all the called for colors, which are right here. Very sweet. You know, nothing really like hit you in the face bright. Okay. And I pulled this out, I think yesterday and I started working on it. Which way am I going? So I want to get the words done. I need to get a branch behind this Robin done. There's a couple motifs over here and then I need to work on the bottom. I don't know. I will probably frame this. But we'll see. That's one thing I'd like to do um, now that I'm getting ready to retire. I told my husband I want to start frame thrift framing, thr frame thrifting, whatever. When you find old frames and you use them. But I'd like to learn how to cut them down and use a miter saw. Um, so I know his dad has at least one. <laughs> so I don't know. We'll see. You know, a lot of that's going to depend on how my knee does and how much I can stand. Um, but we'll see. So that's Maker and Mender. 
doing pretty good with that. Another one I've been working on is my birthday stitch, which is a bird and it has orange in it. <laughs> so this is my birthday stitch. My birthday was at the end of April. It is a um, cardinal pattern from um, Soda Stitch on Etsy. She has about 16 birds that um, you can purchase. And, you know, the patterns are not that expensive. Only, well, I think I bought this one for less than $5. Probably less than $4. But I just think he's so cute because he's chubby. Now, it calls for DMCs, but I wanted to use some of my color and cotton. You know, when you buy it, you got you really ought to use it, right? I mean, that's that's the whole plan, right? Is to use what you buy. I think right so uh, here's my colors so you know here's my orange I call that an orange it's uh, salamander but it's an orange orangey orangey orange so there we go I know one of the reds in this group I'm not using but I didn't take it off the ring and I had purchased you know, happy birthday to me. This beautiful floss bling off of Etsy. I can't remember who I got it from, but can you see it? Yes. So those are my colors. And I do apologize. It's in the, in the hoop because um, I was working on it here before um, I started filming. So I started the wreath around the bird. Um, I'll finish the browns, so at least I get, you know, that taken care of. And then there's some white in there, and his tail has to come uh, hang down on the other side of the, the wreath. But I love it. So I don't know what he'll be. I may see if I can find a circular board from Chantel 141, something like that. Um, but yeah, I just think he's cute. Now, someone left a comment and asked me if I hoop or if I stitch in hand. Obviously I hoop. Um, I use nerd hoops because they're slimmer. I can't hold on to Q snaps because they hurt my hand. Um, I do have arthritis in this thumb and more, more likely in this thumb as well. Um, so yeah, sorry, my knee's cramping up. Um, so yes, I do use nerd hoops and the number two, which is this one is my favorite. Um, I do have a number three. I'm debating on getting it out and using it to work on my, um, lady of the flag, which I have not touched in ages and I need to do that. Um, I think I got burned out on all the blue. Um, and they also have this tiny one. It's a number one. Um, I use this one for smaller pieces of fabric like my um, Prairie Schooler Santas. But I do love the Nerd Hoop. So that's my Cardinal. All right. What else have I been working on? I had filmed this earlier and then put everything away and then decided I wanted to film it again. All right. So my one pull was a sampler. Um, I think this is the one I pulled. I'm not sure, but you know, sampler is a sampler is a sampler. This is Anton Ufendel from hands across the sea. Um, if you watch my last video, I had taken this to Seal City Stitchers with me so that my friends could see how it was coming after the year before and I kept mess miscounting on the green vine of the border. But when I was there, I had accidentally flipped the book. So this middle flower ended up the same color as this flower. I'm not tearing it out. 
So these three flowers on the top are all the same color. So then I will make sure that all three of these on the bottom are the same color. So I am using the DMCs. I am not using silks. Um, I would love to use silks, but yeah. And I know that Vicki Clayton has a um, silk conversion uh, for this one, but I was not aware of her silks when I started. So, yeah. So here are my colors. Some of them a little brighter than others. Of course, you know, the red. Gotta have red. Love red. Red, red, red. All right. So there we go. And I am using 36 count, pull out my project card, 36 count parchment from um, Evertote CA, Roxy, at the time it was Roxy Floss Co. So, and there are three, six, seven, 21, 24, 26 threads. All right. So, I'm just going to show you the top. Here we go. I don't think having the top three flowers the same color is that bad. Um, so what I've gotten done while I've been sitting here in my chair, um, I got this flower done, I got this flower done, I got this flower done, and all the little um, specky do things along the vine. So I had hoped to get the corner flower done before filming, but that didn't happen. So I'm happy with it. And honestly, I enjoy stitching it. Um, the jury's still out on the over one only because I'm not doing full cross. I'm doing tent stitch and or half cross, whatever you want to call it. Um, and as long as it's contained in a motif, it looks good. But like if I get a, a stem of a flower, it looks a little empty. So I end up, here I'll show you. Let me find one. Here we go. Sorry. Hold please. Okay. So on this flower... Like all this is, is half cross or 10 stitch or whatever. But when I, when it came to the stem of the flower, I didn't like the way it looked in the half cross, 10 stitch, whatever you want to call it. So I went back and I did full crosses on the stem. Um, same down here with this one. And in this one. It's really not so bad. It's just a matter of, you know, paying attention to what you're doing. Which, you know, for me, I am the disorderly stitcher. Right? Right. Okie doke. Excuse the zip. Um, another one I worked on, which may be my free space, because, you know, I had to use my free space. I was watching Celeste Creates, and she mentioned that she and um, Kara, who was Pink Daisy Stitch on Instagram, were going to work on Oh Sweet Humility, the Eliza Townsend Sampler 1835 from Antique Sampler Reproduction um, Cross Stitch Antiques. And I thought this was really, really beautiful. Um, it's all cross stitch. The, the words are over one. Not a problem. Not a problem. So, yeah. So it's charted for DMC, uh, 103 silks or NPI. I am using the DMC. Um, right now I'm like, I should have gotten the NPIs, but oh well, such is life. I am stitching this on 
40 Count Hemingway by Needle and Flax. I love Rachel's linen. It's incredible linen. If you ever get a chance to snag a piece of her linen, go for it. These are my colors. I just put them on some cards that I had gotten at a retreat. Is there something that we love about petting our threads? All right, so that's that. Sorry, I'm trying to put things back. Otherwise, they'll be all over the place, and, you know, then I pick them up. And so, like, this one would count as a 40-count project and a sampler. If I needed to count blue, I could count it for blue. If I needed to count red, you know, whatever. So I started up in the upper left-hand corner, and that's how far I got. Now the, the border is pretty much, you know, a pattern, but you need to be careful. Like in any sampler, you want to make sure you're counting and checking and, you know, checking two or three times to make sure you're getting it right. So that is O oh Humility from Antique Sampler Reproduction. Um, next. I made this, this was my first attempt at a portfolio. I made it last year. I just grabbed some fabric I had on the shelf. This is my state project. Um, if you are familiar with, um, thread milk design, state hood splendor. Can you see that? Okay. She has a chart for each state and Oh, there goes the sun. Um, she, she, for the most part, they are red and or blue. Okay. She has the 13 originals, uh, original states, first 13 states to sign the constitution. She has, whoops, these banners. Okay. Um, so, you know, she puts the abbreviation, the year it became a state, something to symbolize the state. Um, this is the number two because Pennsylvania was the second state to um, sign the Constitution. But you can see that Ohio is all red. Okay. Um, we have the Wright Brothers Plain. We have the Carnation. Uh, we have the moon because Neil Armstrong was uh, from Ohio. And Ohio was the 17th state to join the union. So I am doing these on 24 count rain barrel from Legacy Linen. And the first one I did was Ohio. And I'm doing, I, I used Buckeye Scarlet from um, Gentle Arts. And the states that I have lived in, I'm doing the abbreviations in gold. Now, as a kid, I moved around a lot, like every three years, because my dad worked for General Electric. So he would be transferred. So now I'm living in PA. I've been living in PA since... Um, well, we moved to PA in 1979 when I was for my senior year in high school. So there's Pennsylvania. And there is a little bit of design creative license uh, because I messed up on the buggy and I had to do something with the wheels. I can't remember what it was. And then that was off too, so I had to fix that. And then for my uh, whip go, when I had to pull one out, I just went eeny, meeny, miny, mo, and I pulled out Vermont. And Vermont took me two days because, you know, it's mostly blue and it's just big rows of stitching. And that doesn't take long. 
course, we have the snowflakes and we have skiing and we have maple. And I am assuming that those red things at the bottom are pine cones. Either that or they're a bunch of bombs. I don't know. So I also have some other ones that I'm going to be doing. Um, I have Delaware. I've been to Delaware. Love the chicken. Um, Massachusetts. I lived in Massachusetts. Well, I've been to Massachusetts. My parents, I guess I really haven't lived in Massachusetts. My parents lived in Massachusetts in Pittsfield and I only was there for one summer. So anyway, I love that salt box. I have Texas. Um, bought this off the Stash Unload group. I've never been to Texas. I hope to get to Texas at some point. Maryland. I did live in Maryland. So Maryland's the, the abbreviation will be done in gold. Illinois. I've been through Illinois. I do want to go there again because I do want to go to Lincoln's house in Springfield. New York. I lived in New York as a kid. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I am a social studies teacher, eighth grade, um, soon to be retired, but I teach American history. I have Missouri. I have been there. Um, my father's stepmother lived in Missouri. And I have been to Oregon. I flew out in 1979 to meet my pen pal. I loved it. So, yeah. So that's on my list of things to do. In my spare time. The last thing I stitched on was for my Shores of Hawk Run, Hall Shores of Hawk Run Hollow Sal. Um, I'll try and put the information down below. This is a leap year sal. So we started this year in, uh, I think we started March 1st, actually. Um, but the idea is to take it and split it up and do it until the next leap day, which would be 2028. Now, if you've ever looked at a Hawk Run Hollow, they are big. You know, go big or go home. And you can see what I mean about splitting it. So what we're doing is we're taking each one of these squares and dividing it into fourths. So we did March, April, May, June, or whatever, however you wanted to do it. You could, you know, one, two, three, four, whatever. But you get a fourth of a square done, and then in four months you have one square. So each one of these squares will be divided into fourths. This will be the next one. And this one, because it's, you know, the same as two of these other squares, this one will be divided into eighths. I'm hoping this one doesn't. I got really frustrated with that water. You know what I mean? That's a lot of blue. So I'm hoping this one doesn't um, lose my interest. But then the next one, you have, it's practically full coverage. So anyway. I am doing this on 40 count light hazelnut. I do not know the dyer, but somebody told me it was um, X, XJU. Now I am using, it, the call for is NPI. I am using the DMC conversion that she gives. If you are doing this for block two, there is a message on the Carriage House Samplings website that she uses one of the blues for two different symbols. And that's because of trying to make the match to the MPIs. You know, that happens. So it's not a mistake. Okay. So here we go. Now, for some reason, I had it in my mind that we started in February. So I busted my buns to get this done by the end of May. And then somebody's like, but don't we have June yet? I'm like, so I guess I'm a month ahead, which I'd rather be than being a month behind. So there you go. 
Now I did pull my own colors for the sun because the colors that they wanted, I didn't think were bright enough or weren't going to show up on this fabric. So I pulled them and I used color and cotton for the sun. I also had to make adjustment in the lighthouse because I messed up here and put four rows above and below the window, which means that everything was one row longer. So then I think I adjusted this one to put it back in or that one. I don't know. But anyway, I got it back in the right position. And then when I was doing the rocks, I was like, why does she have a white blob in the middle of the rocks? Only to discover it is a gull. There you go. So I keep this one in my um, portfolio that I made using Elizabeth Ann Can Stitch. I used her, um, for her tutorial. And I found this fabric on at Spoonflower on Etsy. I just love it. I am not a beach person. I don't like to go to the beach and get, you know, sand all over the place and sweat and yuck. That's, that's not my idea of going to the beach. If I could rent a place and sit out and watch the water and listen to the waves, that would be cool. But, and again, maybe this is the history teacher in me. I am totally drawn to the New England, the, you know, the shipping industry and the whaling and, and, you know, the Rocky coast and all that. I, I don't know. I'm just weird that way, you know? Yeah. So that's what I've been stitching. Now, what are my plans? Well, I, like I said, I pulled out um, my cardinal because I need to do a bird for one of my pulls and I need to um, do something with orange. And honestly, I want to get that thing done because it's not that big. I want to work on... Um, maker and mender because again I need to do uh, words I need to do a sampler I don't know what your definition of a sampler is but there you go well I have to do hands across the sea so Ann Tong will come back out again I have to do Christmas um, I'm thinking I'm going to do some more work on um, my Shannon Christine a type of Christmas um, so again, that would take care of two things, words and Christmas, right? So I have the first page pretty much done. Um, I'll show you. I don't know what I'm doing this on. I was not a, you know, when I went back to cross stitch in 2020, like everybody else, I wasn't one that would keep track of things. So there we go. So I, I like it. Yeah. I love Shannon Christine's blending of colors. She does an incredible job blending colors. Um, that one's being done on gray stone. I don't know who dyed it. It's 32 count, so I'm using two strands. Other than that, it's, uh, you know, whatever I do is up for grabs. All right. So I do have some Happy Mail. And I do have some haul. And I do have a share at the end. Does that help at all? Maybe it does. So one of my viewers, um, let's start with the haul first. So a couple months ago, I had purchased, I don't know why I fell in love with this little sampler, but 
Now, I'm not a small stitcher. I don't know why. You know, it's go big or go home. So this is Sophia Gregory. And it calls for... Sorry, my phone. We still have a landline. It calls for Belle Soie. Well, Belle Soie is like $8 a pop. So I emailed the thread list to my friend Pam, who owns... Um, Stitch New England, and she did a beautiful conversion for me in MPIs. So that's one of these days. How long is your one of these days lists? You know what I mean? Do we all have a one of these days list? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I purchased, I, I make my project, I make my project bags and I saw this fabric, two different fabrics on Etsy and I fell in love. This is the first one. It's a sewing theme. And of course this one, it's like old timey ads and, um, yeah, and it's red. So that'll be a project bag or portfolios or both. So I have that. And then I received some happy mail. So like I said, those of you who have reached out um, and checked in on me, you don't know how much I appreciate that because Probably the second or third day I got home, I was really depressed. And, you know, when you go from interacting with 85, 14-year-olds to interacting with a unsociable cat, that's hard. You know, plus I couldn't move very well. And obviously I don't drive right now. So I was trapped in this house and it was driving me nuts. So thank you so much for reaching out. Um, I'll save that haul for next time. So one of my viewers, um, sent me this, Miss Mary Mack. Um, this had special meaning to her with her kids who used to play this. Did any of you used to do the clapping games at recess? I know I did, but I don't think girls do that anymore. So I thought that one was cute. Now, I believe she said I could keep it or give it away, but I don't, I don't know. I haven't, the jury's still out on that. I love her hair. And then Carol sent me a whole, like, I was like, what is in here? And I hope I have everything. If, if not, then that means I've squirreled it away where it belongs but she sent me probably four seven eight probably 14 or 15 needle minders so she sent me this pretty purpley bird in fact i'm going to take it and i'm going to any of you have the three tier metal cart there we go that's where he needs to be Throw away my trash, being a good person. Um, she sent me... Where's the other one? Here it is. She sent me a set of um, a needle minder, a scissor fob, and a stitch picker. I don't know what the technical term is, but I call it a stitch picker. And um, so I'll show you the scissor fob. But the one is patriotic. I love it. Carol, if you made this, or if you made this stuff, I want to pick your brain. Because one of my goals now that I'm going to be retired is to learn how to do beading. And the other one, if I say the color red, you'll probably figure it out. 
my favorite bird. Again, it's a needle minder, stitch picker, and scissor fob. Isn't that pretty? I love cardinals. Every once in a while, there's a pair that is in the backyard, and I like to think it's my mom and my dad. Um, even though they divorced when I was a teenager, hopefully, you know, in the next life, they figured it out that they need to work together when it comes to the kids, right? Right. So then she sent me these other needle minders. And if you know me, you know how much I love these. Look at them. They're so cute. There's Franklin. I love Franklin. And there's Lucy in her blue dress. My kids like to say I have big Lucy energy. And these. Isn't that great? There's Charlie Brown and his tree. Love it. And I think these might have been gibbets from Crocs. I don't know. But they're sort of like rubbery. But those, and there's Linus with his blankie. Linus is my favorite. Linus and Lucy are my favorite. So that's it. Like I said, I have not been up to a whole lot. Just because, you know, I sit and I stitch and, and I sit and I sit and I sit. And then after a while, I, I'm... Bored with stitching. I hate to say that, but I am. All right. So, like I said, I do have a share. Now, if you are interested in either of these patterns, I have two patterns. Please remember, do not use the word prize, free, giveaway. Don't say I won when I draw the names, the whole the whole nine yards. Um, you must be 18 so that I can legally ask for your address. You sh it would be greatly appreciated if you are a subscriber. Um, if you like what you see and you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and ring that bell so you know when I have uploaded some new content. And I think that's it. Those are the rules. Okay, so I have two copies of two of the states that I showed you. So I am going to offer up as shares the extra copies. The first one is Delaware. So if you are interested in the Delaware chart, just put the number one, the numerical number one. Don't spell it out, just put a one. All right. I love that chicken. Is that a chicken or is it a rooster? I can't remember. I'm sure somebody that's in Delaware, Laura, let me know. Okay. So I have Delaware. And I have New York. So if you are interested in New York, please put the numeral two. Please don't spell it out. Just put a two. All right. I don't know if that's supposed to be a robin or not, but there we go. That blue is a bell swash silk. I'm not using bell swash silk. Not going to happen. Okay. So Delaware is a one. New York is a two. It's probably appropriate that Delaware is a one because they were the first state to ratify the Constitution. There's your history lesson for the day. All right. So if you have any questions, uh, please leave them down in the comments. If you would like to email a question to me, my email is down below in the description box. I also have a Facebook group if you are interested in joining that. Um, it has been a little quiet on my end simply because I haven't had a whole lot to post. Um, but you must answer the membership questions. 
If you do not answer all of the membership questions, I will decline your request with feedback asking you to answer the questions and resubmit your request. I am hoping that helps to keep the trolls out. Okay. You can also find me on Instagram at the disorderly stitcher. And I try to post there at least once or twice a week with my um, progress. Took me a while to figure out Instagram, but now that I got the hang of it. Woohoo! All right. So I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. I hope that if you are in an area that is being hit with this crazy weather, that things calm down. Um, we're getting some cooler weather this week, which is nice. And um, I hope those of you in the States had a wonderful Memorial Day and had a chance to spend time with family and reflect on the meaning of that day. Um, it always worries me that kids don't understand why we get that holiday off. So I hope you stitch what you love and you love what you stitch. And while you're doing all that, keep your stitches crossed. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.